Your project homepage can be found under the navigation tree in the CMS. The homepage was already created for you and its HTML is linked to the short URL of your website. Therefore, it is important to remember not to delete, take offline or move this page from its location. Next to the title, you can see the status of the page. In this case, the page is published, meaning that the latest version of the page is visible to your visitor. In case the state status said edited, it would mean that the page was stored, but the latest editing changes have not been published yet. Therefore, if you are making any content changes to your home page, always remember to save changes and then publish the page. Next to the status is a small home icon, which is just indicating this is that this is the home page of your uh, website. And the last icon here is a live URL preview, which allows you to see the web page as your visitor sees it. On the right side, there is a further menu which you can explore. But for more information, have a look at the tutorials on how to edit the pages. If you want to work with your home page, simply click on the home page and the content section of the CMS will appear. To edit the page, simply click on Edit Page. And here you will see that your project homepage consists of the header, which is the top part, and the tags, which can be freely edited, moved, or deleted. We will start with editing of the header. In order to edit the header, click on the Editing button above the actual header. Once you have done that, a dialog window will appear with fields which you can fill in. Don't worry about start folder or head navigation start folder. This has been already preset. Same goes for the project logo. This has been uploaded for you and the project name, uh, which is actually your project acronym. There is also a default header picture uh, on your homepage. However, you are free to change this picture. Uh, you have a two ways of uh, uploading an image here. You can do it via internal way if you have image already stored in the CMS or you can upload a new image directly from your hard drive. I will go through the internal path as I have an image already stored. Once you click on the icon with the magnifying glass, another dialog window appears. All you have to do is just find the image you want to use as your header image and click Select. What is important to keep in mind when you are uploading a header picture is that this is actually the first thing that the visitor coming to your website sees. The header section is quite big, therefore, you have to remember to upload a really good quality picture, ideally something which is thematically related to what your project is doing. There are a few other fields that you can complete in, the, in this header and dialog window, and these are related to your social media. So in case you have a Facebook page, Twitter account, LinkedIn, or a YouTube channel, insert the links to your channels here. Once you are happy with the content you have provided, simply press OK. And we can see that the header image has already changed. In case you don't see any image in the CMS, don't worry. Once you save changes and publish the page, uh, it will appear on the front end. And as you can see, also the social media icons have appeared as there was a link inserted into the Facebook section and the Twitter. Once you are happy with the changes you have made to your header, remember to save changes and publish the page. In order to publish the page, click on the three dots menu on the right hand side here and press publish button. Once you have done that, if you go to the live preview, you will see that your header image has already changed. In case you don't see the changes instantly, refresh your page after a few minutes and the image will appear. 